It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. All right. We ended up down a rabbit hole about games. You could treat your business money like a game for sure. There are lots of odds. They're terrible odds. You know, uh, one in two businesses fail in the first five years. You know, seven in 10 businesses fail in the first 10 years. I mean, like there are some horrible, terrible odds. I would argue that financial literacy is the easiest ticket to success. Um, and that doesn't have to be big and scary. And that's coming from somebody who worked for a CPA firm that used to like to hide the accounting from their clients because we called it CPA voodoo magic. And like, that's why you pay me $300 an hour. So why would I explain to you what I did? Like, don't worry about it. That's not your problem. You're the business owner. And I have completely flipped that on its head. I disagree. I want my clients to be educated. I want them to be informed. I want them to feel like comfortable and confident when we talk about numbers like net income. And I want them to be comfortable and confident when we talk about things like profit percentage. Um, I want them to understand that like what they're doing all day, every day is making a difference. Um, I'm not super financially motivated, neither is my husband. Uh, we both grew up very low income and for me, middle class. And for us, we realized like now we're in it to make money for others. That's what we do. We make money to give it away. We make money for our employees to make money. We make money for our community. Um, it's super fun. And so that's a huge part of what I do with Bookkeeping Academy is I give away a bunch of money. And I give it away to really cool people. Like I teach bookkeeping in Africa and I teach bookkeeping to entrepreneurs all over the world. And I like to give away free water and other fun, random things. So every time I speak, I give away something cool to somebody else. It's a complete stranger. And um, I think that's what gets me up every day. That's the exciting part now, right? I dig it. I dig it. I uh, When you said you give away free water, I was thinking about... Um me trying to give away bush lights at the huge convention and how that's kind of like trying to give away free water. Dude, I didn't know if that was a secret or not, but I'm so glad you said that because you should have that in your intro sales pitch about the huge convention. Like Dan's going to have a bucket of beer under his table and he's basically buying likes. You should go like him and be his friend and he will give you beer. And I think it's going to create a huge sensation. And he chose a beer that is on brand, which I think is pretty awesome. I do. I just need like... I need to, I, I, it's very executable, but I still need to like put the pieces together to execute it and make sure I don't, it seems to me like something I'm not going to ask for permission asking, on. Yeah. Just stop asking permission. Just say it like fact. And there's now there's like so many people in charge that you, they, they're all going to be confused about who authorized it. It's fine. Yeah. Just, well, and, uh, it was, you know, it was Sid, it, it, Sid authorized. Yeah. It's it was just Sid. a free giveaway. And I'm just, you know, I'm trusting all the, the, the goers of the convention to police themselves on how old they are and if they're uh, of age or not. That's not my responsibility. It's just the giveaway at my booth. Or maybe we should um, just stop talking about it and it'll be like, who's giving me the beer? I don't know. Who's giving me the beer? Anybody yeah. know who's giving me the beer? Whispery. Get real oh, whispery about it. Yeah.